Hey, thank you for your engagement. I'm having so much fun doing these videos and I am so thrilled when you guys give me questions to answer because I know a lot of different things that, that I never think about talking to all of you about it at the same time. So here's, here's something that sort of came up. Um, I have a young couple and they're married and the neat thing about it is, is that he got his job with the firefighting and she got her degree in nursing and guess what? We were able to get them into a brand new home. And I want to sort of share the journey on that regard because what happened is, is that when I first met with them, they're like, you know what? We know we have to get our jobs in place. We know we have to do this. We know we have to do that. And I actually was able to stop them and say, you know what, actually, it doesn't have to be that complicated. So I'm going to share with you three things that you may not have realized could make your life a lot easier and make your goal of homeownership happen sooner, potentially. Okay. So the first thing is, is with this young couple, she had graduated and she had a job that she was going to be getting at the hospital. And what they didn't understand or know is, is that oftentimes a lender will consider a job or a career as being um, a degree as being a job. Think about it. You've been at school for over four years and that basically means even though you're not paid for it, you've dedicated four years of your life to doing this job. So a lender actually will consider that as a job. Uh, the main thing is, is that you do have to get employed in the line of work that your degree was in, but that was simple. She was already getting hired on. And then the next thing is, is that you do have to have your first paycheck and the per first paycheck could be for orientation. What happened with her is all she did is she went for a one day orientation. She got her first check. Well, as soon as she had her first check, guess what? We could close the loan. So she went from, or they went from, okay, what are the plans that we have to have in order to get a home into within less than, a, I would say 30 days, owning a home, all based off of them getting a job and having it be in the career that they had their college degree on. So that's the first thing that I think a lot of people don't realize. Your career can be your school. So that's for college. The next thing that a lot of people don't know about is that you can have your down payment be gift funds. And the gift funds don't necessarily have to be from a relative. Um, as a matter of fact, gift funds can come from an employer. Gift fun funds can come from anybody that has a personal relationship with you that you could prove that there's a personal relationship. And it doesn't have to be 20%. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of different programs that are out there where depending upon your income and depending upon what you're at, they it can be even 100% financed if you need or want to. And the gift funds can just be used for your closing fees. Um, I've told people before, I have a young family that I work with. They got into their first home with only $2,500 of their own money that was necessary. And that was a, an amazing feat. What they did is they layered the different grants, they layered the different loan programs available to them, and they ended up getting a gift, actually even from the seller, to offset some of their expenses. So they were able to get in with just $2,500. And it can happen for other people as well. So that's point number two that you might not have known about. And point number three, and this is one that, again, I think is really neat to be able to share, is if you are looking to get into a down payment or need down, money, down payment money, you can actually, believe it or not, get a loan on a vehicle or something that is an actual physical item. So it could be a boat, it could be a vehicle, can't be a credit card, but you can use what they call secured funds to use for your down payment. And so let's just say you have a car that you own outright. Remember when you're buying, you can actually have the housing debt and you can have the actual credit card or outside debt. And by doing that, especially depending upon where your income is, it may make sense for you to get a car loan to help you get your down payment. So those are three things that I thought might be a little bit fun. And I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your, um, your feedback. You know, this is, this is your time guys. So let's all get smart. I love being able to be, be able to provide resources, you know, send me little comments in there. What's important to you? What would you like to learn about? Because that way we can make certain and answer what's important to you in a way that's timely. So my email, just send me a private message if you want to here through Facebook, or you can email me at callkrista at gmail.com. Put in your subject line what you want, or send me a quick text, 805-620-7355. What is it that we can do to, for you to help you get smart? 
As always, call Krista, OIC Real Estate Services, here to help you see your dreams come true. Have an amazingly blessed day. Bye.